The problem we're fixing today usually only happens on road bikes when you're climbing in your easiest gear. What can happen is the chain drops or falls off to the inside where it can jam, like this. Here's a front view. This isn't a shifting problem, it happens because you're pedaling hard enough to flex the crankset which can cause the chain to come off. It might never happen to you, but if it does it can cause a crash and damage to your bike too. So we're going to install a cool device called a chain keeper or a chain catcher to fix it. I chose the K-Edge chain keeper because it's a great design, super light, easy to install and adjust and works well cost me right now about $33. I put in a link below in the description. It looks like a really simple design. But if you look at the shape of it, it's actually sculpted. See how it's got a cut out on one side, and it's thinner on the other side. It actually has two holes in it, one that goes over the front derailleur bolt, and the other one is for the screw that you tighten to adjust the position. I'll show you how that's done. This little tab on the end bumps into the chain and keeps it on. That's how it works. Let's take a look, see how much it weighs. Not much, so it barely adds any weight at all. Small cost for hopefully having your chain never fall off again. These K-Edge keepers go onto front derailleurs that are bolted onto the frame. See how the frame has this little tab built into it? That's for the front derailleur and it's bolted on with this bolt right here. This is a DI2, a Shimano DI2, which is an electric front derailleur, but the, the chain keepers work fine on cable operated front derailleurs too. So the first thing to do before you put the KH chain keeper on the front derailleur is to make sure you're on the small chain ring. Also make sure the chain is on the largest rear cog. Now to mount the K-Edge Keeper, you just remove the bolt and spacer that's holding the front derailleur on the frame now and you replace them with the bolt and spacer provided with the K-Edge Keeper. But before you do anything, here's a little tip that can save a lot of trouble. Take a Sharpie and make a line around the spacer underneath the bolt on the front derailleur now. That's going to mark the position of the derailleur. You can usually hold the derailleur in place when putting on the keeper, but the mark is insurance in case the derailleur moves out of position. It shows where it was so that you can put it back. If you don't have the position mark, you will have to refind it, which is a matter of making sure the derailleur cage is high enough not to hit the chain ring, and also that the derailleur cage angle is perfectly aligned with the chain rings to shift properly. And I have another video showing how to set up a DI2 front derailleur, which I'll link to at the end of this video, so watch for that. Now we can install the chain keeper. To do it, I remove the Shimano bolt and spacer and put the K-Edge's bolt and spacer on in its place. When I remove the original bolt, I try to hold the derailleur so it doesn't move out of position. Depending on your front derailleur's bolt, you might need a 5mm or 4mm to remove it. The chain keeper uses a 4mm for the bolt and a 3mm for the bolt that you use to adjust the arm in position. Start the K-Edge bolt with your fingers and then tighten it with the 4mm wrench. Don't let go of the derailleur or it'll change position. Now we can put on the arm that keeps the chain on. The top hole in the arm fits right over the derailleur bolt. Now put the 3mm adjustment bolt into the arm's bottom hole and start screwing it in. Make sure to put the arm on the right way. The white K printed on the arm should face you. The way the K-Edge Keeper works, the arm can be pivoted further and closer to the chain. You tighten the 3mm hex bolt to lock the arm in place. You want to position it about 1 to 2 millimeters from the chain. In that position, should the chain try to come off, it will bump into the chain keeper, which will keep the chain on the chain ring. 
Yay, no more chain drop. You're almost done. As a last step, be sure to shift the front derailleur a bunch of times to check that it still shifts the way it did before you put on the keeper. And make sure it doesn't rub on the chain in the easiest and hardest gears. If there are any issues, the front derailleur moved as you put on the keeper, so you'll need to fine-tune the derailleur position as needed. See my video link to at the end for DI2 electric derailleurs. Now that you have a chain keeper, there's one more thing to remember. You want to carry that little 3mm Allen just in case the chain does drop. Because if the chain drops, maybe from a crash or something weird like that, it can be really hard to get it back on with the chain keeper in the way. But as long as you have the tool to loosen the chain keeper and move it out of the way, you can lift the chain back on and then just put the chain keeper back where it was and you'll be good to go. If you're putting on a chain keeper and you run into any problems or have any questions, feel free to post a comment. I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. So that's today's project. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have no more chain drops.